Alright, so in this video we're going to make the paddle move around based on the position of the mouse. And so you already know how to use the mouse to do stuff with Java Paint, so it's going to be very similar. Um, so in Game Panel we actually have to create a new class of objects. Uh, just one second. Uh, we're going to create uh, my mouse lo motion, motion listener uh, class. So down at the bottom, let's just do it down at the bottom. So this is a class inside a class. It's a private class. Private class my mouse motion listener implements mouse motion listener And now because we claim that it implements mouse motion listener, we have to actually implement the methods listed in that interface. So we're going to import it from the library and then we're going to only use, we're not going to use mouse dragged, we're only going to use mouse move. You could use mouse dragged for some sort of application with like a, whatever, you could do it. Um, but we're only going to use mouse moved. And what do we want to do with mouse moved? Well, uh, we only, what are we going to want to do? We're going to want to do, we're going to want to send it somehow to the paddle. So this information gathered here on the game panel, so we, we're going to put a mouse motion listener on our game panel, and then when it hears the mouse is in fact moving, we're going to uh, send the mouse, or send the paddle the information that we have. So we need to create a... Um, utilities or something. I don't even know what this should be. Let's just put it up under just general fields for the game. Uh, so mm, private my mouse motion listener the mouse listener we need to initialize that the mouse listener equals new my mouse motion <laughs> listener and then we need to add it to the panel so we're gonna say because this is the panel we just say this or you don't have to say this you can just say add uh, not just add add mouse motion listener the mouse listener <laughs> okay so it should be listening now to the mouse the panel which is hanging on the frame is listening for the mouse's movements well we need to send that information to the paddle somehow so we're going to create in the paddle a method called public void mouse moved and this is going to need an integer called the uh, so-called x position of the mouse. How do we do? Mouse x position. And all we do in here is set x equal to the mouse x position. So we're going to get the mouse's x position from the game panel and send it over to the paddle and quickly set X to the mouse's X position and then every time that we're gonna draw it we're gonna draw it at X so this effectively associates the variable X with the mouse's X position and so now in the game panel all we have to do is we say the paddle dot mouse moved and then we say e dot get X and that should be just about it, I believe. Um, let's try it, and we'll see. I think the paddle should move around. So move it up here. Look at that. Paddle moves. Paddle can move off screen, which is kind of like whatever. Um, but it moves. It moves correctly. All right, and that's it for this tutorial.